All right, let's get this puppy started. If you guys haven't played this yet, I suggest that you, or actually, I recommend this game. It's really, really fun. Uh, I've been playing, I played it since the first one, although I didn't play the second version of this game and the uh, extensions to it. Finally, I got Sniper Elite 3. And I freaking absolutely love this game. But uh, let's go to the campaign. And let's start this thing. I'm just going to go do Cadet because it's just fun this way. And I'll give you guys uh, a pretty good show, hopefully. <laughs> Most of Europe has been crushed under the Axis boot, forcing an allied retreat. Their supply <clears throat> lines for food and raw materials are crippled. I usually the skip this. Now is a the uh, connecting Britain with its cinematics the because oil. I've played this game Breaking lots of times, but Africa I'll leave this up for you guys who hasn't haven't played British this yet. Axis armies face each other so across the Libyan Egypt border, the front line swings like a pendulum across the western desert. This game is Arch, totally awesome. I'm actually land. glad I bought it again. Uh, well, at least the third generation of it. There's supposed to be a new one, Sniper Elite here. 4, coming Tanks out next year in February. I've, arrived I've looked Europe. online, and I'm it looks totally awesome. Can't wait. Young men blindly rushing to their deaths. None of them are comfortable having someone like me around. It suits me fine. Most of them won't make it out of here alive. Rommel was kicked out during Operation Crusader, but Axis forces are once again sweeping across the western desert. The Gazala gallop began with the Allied retreat, and Rommel is at the city's throat. There is no time for tactics. Thirty-five thousand of us. Have I love the headshots in this game. I love like the all the effects and everything. It's super awesome. The graphics are great. Even though it is only like the third generation and uh, is an older game, it still looks really, really awesome. <laughs> Alright, you guys, here we go. Let's go shoot some stuff. The bullet time is like my absolutely favorite effect on this game. I've always loved it since the first one. I thought it was like really awesome. I played the first one on the Xbox, the original Xbox, and fell in love with this game. That's how awesome this stuff is. This <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, this game is super awesome. Let's go shoot some people. Look at all this. This looks all like messed up and getting ready to crumble and fall apart. It's awesome. Hey, look, I see you guys. Let's have a look. 
if you press R3, which is your stick, your right stick, and you can get your binoculars, hit your right trigger, and it'll mark them. You hit up or down on the D-pad, and it'll zoom in and out of the binoculars. It's pretty neat. Mark those guys. Look at this cool thing. It'll give you the type of the guy. It'll give him the weapon, alert state, and uh, distance. Pretty awesome. It's only 80 meters. That's not very far. Let's get ready to shoot this guy. Alright, if you have the actual uh, scope that... I forget the scope is. Um, but if you get the scope that you can zoom in and out of, the same thing with the D-pad is you hold down the left trigger. Pretty neat. Or R2, or L2, sorry. So, I want to zoom into this guy. If you tap the... Uh, the L3, which is the left stick, or you hit the um, R1 button, you'll let your, your hold room, let your air go, so you can zoom in on your target and right trigger the fire. The actual the R1 button is actually an empty lung button, which is makes it a little bit faster. Kinda neat. Let's get this guy. Uh, dead. This is awesome. I love this stuff. I love how much damage you can actually see when the bullet enters and exits. It's pretty awesome. You can see his brain splatter and explode. It's pretty awesome. I love it. This is a good real what that's what really turned me on to this game was the bullet time and how much damage you actually do to somebody in real time. Like if you were actually uh, doing this real life, this is probably what it would really look like. But of course you wouldn't see the bullet slow down and stuff like that, but you know. And the little the little line on the side of your reticle is your lung capacity. I'm going to hit the R1 button and I'll show you what the uh, empty long thing is. It zooms in a little bit faster so you can get your shot fat quicker. Alright, looks like somebody's watching me. <laughs> this guys see it even tells you right here in gameplay the very first thing is uh, <clears throat> you hit your binoculars and so you can zoom in here's the cool thing about the binoculars you actually get to see where you can actually hit on any vehicle or pretty much anything else that's able to be fired on pretty neat let's see how I can't see with the uh, theoretical on the parts that I can hit on the truck. This is where you actually use your binoculars. You mark it. And once it's marked, you can go back and it's cool because uh, what you could do is after you mark it, you can actually zoom in with your sniper rifle and shoot where you want to. And it'll, parts will stay red where you want to shoot. Now remember, this is on easy mode, which is cadet, so it'll mark all that stuff for you. But if you're like, you know, totally sniper, authentic, awesome dude, then you don't need that stuff. Somebody was watching and now they left.
Oh well. Pick up some stuff from the ammo box. The Germans are using Nebelwerfers. I have to do something about them. And also, when you're in third person mode, if you uh, tap the L3 button, you could run. Actually, climb up walls and stuff that are flat, if you can tell. They won't hear me approach if I crouch. <laughs> I want to stab this guy in the neck, watch. And same thing with this guy. This is going to be awesome, watch. <laughs> right in the ear, that was awesome! This game is super awesome. I love this. I'm gonna stab this guy in the neck too. Ready for this? Watch this. I'm gonna blow it up. Yes! I love this game. It's so awesome. Check the bodies for stuff. You guys will definitely want to do this, you know, throughout the game, so make sure you have enough ammo in your, for your weapons and extra goodies. If you hold down the R1 button, you can actually use this reticle to uh, choose what you want to use. And you can go scan through them and it'll tell you what you want to do. Pretty neat, so. And actually, I need some band-aids. To use it, uh, like say I have band-aids right there on the right bottom corner, you tap the R1 button and it'll use the item. I'm surprised, honestly, this game didn't get a uh, game of the year because this game is like truly fun. Mm -hmm. Get out of here, dude! You can't see me. It's awesome. No, it's not what I wanted.
Da ist er! Ow, ow, ow. Running away. I'm gonna heal myself up, that suck. Take your leg out, punk. Ugh. Believe it or not, you could actually do nut shots in this game. It's awesome. Goodbye. Right in your eye. That was awesome. Freaking love that stuff. Almost looked like it grazed him. Didn't really look like it went through his head. back around this way. Get out of here, jerk. Stab you in the neck for that. Two for one? Did say so, but I don't know. We'll see. Oh nope, I see a guy right there. What, buddy? Ugh. Just walking up on him and just kicking the crap out of him. I can love this game, man. Oh look, I get to blow another one up. I know this is not like what a sniper does or anything like that. I'm just having fun right now. I need to go kill one of those Neville Burfers, whatever the heck they're called. Alright, now I can get out of here. Let's go to the next stage. Like I said, I'm just having fun right now with this one, but I'll show you actual, like, real authentic style. I think this next stage will help. That was dumb. What's up, everybody who just joined?
All right, look, 22 kills, total shot distance, 392.88 meters. That's not very far, but whatever. Let's go to the next stage, stage shall we? We lost to Brooke, but my work had drawn the attention of British naval intelligence. They've been following one of Hitler's protégés sent to Africa, a ruthless advocate of nerve agents in the last war, General Franz Wallen. Their informant, close to Wallen, has gone dark. So they want me to investigate. My first port of call is the Gabaron Oasis, an Axis transport hub. <clears throat> Scout teams and commanders pass through here, along with intel. I have the cover of darkness on my side. There's a few officers in the area, so that's where I'll start my search. I can see plenty of elevation around the lake. Perfect to set up my rifle. If Valen's been here, there'll be a trail. And I'll find it. I think I may change my loadout. I'm not sure yet, though. Let's see. Uh, let me see what do I have for my loadout. Uh, yeah, I want to take the Panzer out because I don't use it very often. Let's change it to. Let's change it to a good old fashioned shotgun. This will be cool. Oops, wrong button. We lost to Brooke. This is where it gets fun. I think I like this uh, level partly one of the best ones, only because it's look where you get to start. I mean, look, you come in through the freaking canyon over here real quick, and you got this guy who's about to die real bad. Loud enough to cover my rifle. I threw the back of the neck. That's so dope. Alright, so what you want to do, see, this guy was trying to fix this, uh, <clears throat> this generator, and, um, he kind of couldn't. So, this you see that little sound wave of bugger case. head? This is one of those awesome parts, but what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to, like, scout everything out before you do anything. See, like, this guy in the tent. This guy over here in the sniper tower. Let's see. Let's see who else we can find. Put this guy over by the fire. Look, this guy sitting by the fire over here. And I know there's a guy walking around here somewhere. But uh, he's... Where's that guy scouting the area? Oh, here we go. Look at this guy. Got that guy. Let's see. Oh, look. You see that little red dot over there? 
Yeah, you get to actually shoot the ends of the in the uh, excuse me the engines in the truck, which is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna mark that too, <clears throat> so you guys can see what it does. It's pretty neat. Oh yeah, here we go. You can also see that uh, barrel over there. You can't mark those for some reason, which is really strange. So. Let's have some fun, shall we? And look, there's one right there. There's, let's see. Let's see where else there are some. I think that's the one I just zoomed in on before. I'm looking for, like, one more guy, though. I think there's one more guy walking around somewhere. Has to be. Oh yeah, look. I just saw this guy. There we go. Alright, I think I got all I can mark right now. Because I don't see any more dudes walking around anywhere. Let's start off with the sniper, shall we? So, like I, like I said, remember how you see that little sound wave above your head? Wait till that thing goes off, zoom in, and take your shot. That's the best way to do this. And I know I'm on only like cadet mode, but only because I'm showing you just pure gameplay. I'm gonna wait for this guy to be in range. Ah, missed him. There we go. Oh, neck shot. That was awesome. Let's do. Let's do this guy next. Screw it. See if I can get a hard shot out of this guy. Oh, got it! Nice. Let's see if I can shoot this guy right in the leg through his freaking nuts. That'd be dope. <laughs> Took it out. That was awesome. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm going to take out this truck before I take out the officer in the tent. So I'm going to wait. Watch. Bam. That's one shot. So I'm going to wait for that thing to come back again. The... What do you call it? The little sound wave from... Dang it, can't remember the damn name of that thing. Whatever. But I'm going to take that truck out. There we go. Mm, dead. And look, I see a dude over there. He's going to die too. Let's get Look at this guy over here. Are you ready for him to die? Bull crap. There we go. Ah, uh, freaking look. Uh, what the heck happened to the camera? That was dumb. That was a good shot, too. What the hell? 
All right, let's get this guy. Cause he's gonna die in a minute anyway. Here we go. Dead right in the ear. This is dope. Uh, uh, that was awesome. Freaking love the headshots in this game. Let me take this guy's legs out though. Took him out. He's done. Something to collect from his corpse. Let's go down here because I think we killed everybody. All right, search this guy. See what he has for me. New objective, you guys. I'll find information. All right, we got to take out three officers now. As you can see on the map. Or even on your uh, your gameplay, you actually get to see their stars. So if you actually hold down the touchpad, it'll show you where they are on the map. The only thing is that I kind of think that sucks about this is that you can't mark out the way you want to go. But we'll see. Let's see what happens in Sniper Elite 4. I believe I, I was watching the uh, <clears throat> the alpha test, which looks actually really awesome. So, it's coming out in, uh, I believe, like, early February next year, and the graphics on it look super awesome. Assholes over here. Oh, look, there's one right there. You're marked. Oh. Yeah, it, on the really hard difficulty, which I believe is authentic, you have, uh, what is it? I think it's Cadet. Marksman, Sniper Elite, and Authentic. Authentic is actually really, really, uh, really hard because you actually get to use realistic ballistics, which is actually really awesome. So you actually have to aim like you're really holding a rifle in your hand. So which means you have, you know, consider <clears throat> air quality, wind speed, and all that type of stuff to make your trajectory correct. double kill out of this I doubt I can but because they're not in line we'll see nope that guy's walking away I want to switch to my sidearm so I can shoot this guy in the face silent Why is that guy running the wrong way? But this guy's gonna die with horrible, horrible death. Ooh, right in the eye! That's so awesome. I, I, like I said, dude, I cannot get enough of the bullet time and the, uh, you know, the x-ray vision of all the deaths that you can do on this game. So awesome. Oh, missed him. All right, dude, you're gonna die now. Would you just die by a freaking shotgun already? Jeez. All right, I'm uh, moving to the next spot.
I guess the shotguns weren't very effective or something back then or something. I don't know, but they're really weak. It'd be good to cover my six with a trap. Alright, I'm gonna use some of these. Let's see. Let's put one here. Let's put one right here. And we'll grab another one. I'm gonna put one right here. These are always very effective, you guys, so. And no, I don't want to put it too close like that. Let's do. Let's go put one down here. Because if they're gonna find you, they're gonna co wanna come up this way real quick. So. I'm actually gonna check where I put my landmines because I would suck to, you know, come up on one while I'm running or somebody's chasing me and they blow up behind me and I get killed. Got this place out. Oh, the jerk there. Guy by the fire. There's usually always one or two guys by fire, so you'll never not be able to find them. You got a guy in the tent over there. You got this guy walking over here. Let's see, where else would they be? That guy. See, one, two guys by the fire. And the cool thing about it is, too, look, if you go behind walls and stuff, they're silhouetted, so you got you can't, you know, lose these guys. <clears throat> Especially the guys that are walking around like behind walls and stuff like if you want to sneak up behind them or something like that It's very very useful to have their silhouette walking around so you know exactly the direction they're going I'll show you guys a little bit of the gameplay too of uh, the little bit harder modes that way you can see like you know real b style ballistics and stuff like that because right now this is just cadet and it's just fun that's all it is Guy. And this guy. See? He's hiding behind the pillars trying to sneak out. How the heck are these guys hearing me, dude? The thing's going off, so I don't. Ah, oh, dang it! I accidentally pushed the freaking fire button. Damn it! Oh, I didn't see this guy over here. See, he's hiding behind the tree. Hey, 
How did he get past my jerk? Shotgun to the face, punk. Now you guys want to play. Alright, come here. I want to jack you guys up. I'm gonna straight run and gun style now. Watch this. These guys are gonna get screwed up. Come here, jerk. Why are you running? their bodies for all kinds of stuff so that way you can replenish all your stuff let's go in this tent and see if there's anything else in here Ooh, look goodies always pick up goodies I'm gonna heal my up oh, no, never mind here we go Guys, don't stand in fire, it hurts you. Just letting you know. See? See where I am on the map. Oh, I gotta go the other way. <laughs> I went too far. Oh, look, new spot. And I hear dudes. Look at this guy. Now on this one, there's no, <clears throat> nothing to mess up to mask your shot. So you got to be pretty sneaky on this part. Walking a little further. You got to remember, you guys got to be like a ninja over here. So, pretty much, you got to be a, a ninja almost on all these, all the parts of this game. And look, you can climb up here. Look at this guy. This little ledge. He's walking away. See, look at this, and see, this is what I mean by you can see the guys walking around through the walls and stuff. Thank you to the silhouette after marking them, which is kind of neat. The searchlight operator needs to go. Let's see, look, I can sneak up on this guy because I know which way he's going. But I'm not going to go after that guy first. I'm going to go after the guy over here just leaning against the wall. And... Good night. Better hide these bodies. Going here because somebody saw me a little bit. I'm gonna sneak up on this guy too. <laughs> I 
Yeah, keep whistling, dude. Cause here you're gonna go night night time. Sleepy time, bitch. Gonna pick up this guy. Get him out of here. And it's cool, you can either put the body down or throw him, which is awesome. I love that. See watching him slam against the wall just Ugh, punk. I'm gonna pick up this guy too. search around a little bit because yeah if that anybody's sneaking up on me and stuff oh yeah I forgot about this guy over here he didn't see me go away See, told you. Always the guys are, like, next to fires. Mark the truck. Oh, look, there's a guy up there. see me shut up go to sleep Time to die! Fucking Nazis. Oh, I love that, dude. Brain shot. Let's take this out. Just to get it out of the way. Running away. shot. Oh, now he gets me. Not right after I say that. Where are you, punk? There you are. Hey! Poke your head back up. I want to see it.
Goodbye. Ugh, right in the back. I'm so messed up. See if we can find any dudes around here. Oh, look at this guy. He's gonna die too. Watch this. I'm gonna take everything out. One shot. Hey! Come in and die! Jerk. Ooh, right in the butt. Oh, that was the leg. Thought I got him in the butt, but I guess not. Oh, nice ring. Now you see why I love this game, you guys. This game is super dope. All because of like just the death that you get to see on what actually would happen in a real life fire. If you actually, well, if the other person did get shot that you were possibly shooting at. Oh, and here's a little thing too. If you guys just press a little bit on the um, the uh, left trigger, which is also your zoom in and out of your rifle, see how he doesn't zoom in at all? If you hold it down just a little bit, you can actually aim before you fully press it and actually get into the scope mode. Look at this guy. Ah, don't have range on him. Should I go run up on this guy and kill him? Or should I actually shoot him from far away? <laughs> Screw that guy. Yeah, I'm gonna run up on his ass. Come here, jerk. Rampage style. Ah, I died. I was gonna go try to do like Wolverine style and just kick his ass, but I guess not. But that's pretty much how the game is played, though. I mean, if you guys want to see more, I'll stay on. But uh, I'm actually gonna go because I'm freaking starving. I'm starving. So, anyway, thanks for watching, you guys.